loaf. Could you spare a penny or two to get some food? It is nippy. Ah, you would like to join me? It is not very often that people even acknowledge my existence. So I would, I would like this very much. Excuse me, sir. Can you spell some change? God bless you, sir. Life on the streets is hard. Especially at this time of year. Christmas coming up. No family. Nothing to look forward to. They say that the suicide rate around this time of year is much higher. But, uh, that is not technically true. Around Christmas, people are... People are happier and uh, you're not ignored by so many people. Just earlier today someone bought me a Big Mac, which was very nice. Well, Madame, so, no, okay. you have a nice day. So, oof. where to begin? My story for some money. I could do that. Back before the fall of the Soviet Union, I was a nuclear physicist. I, I was quite popular with the party. I, uh, nice big house, lots of money, family. It was a good time before capitalism. <laughs> Free market. Go figure. Sir? Okay, well, what happened? As communism fell and... Uh, the first thing that went obviously were government jobs. I was working on some projects which were no longer deemed necessary by those in charge. So I became homeless. Well, not yet, I became jobless. So, we got sent to bread lines and managed to avoid most of the pauper stuff that came with communism. But instead, we went to America. And things were good. Uh, we did not know much English. We still not great. We picked it up. And things were good for a long time, yes? And then things went wrong. Very wrong. I could not get the job in my field. Six years of university, a master's, but no one wanted a resume that I could not really put on what I worked on it. So, I became janitor at a nuclear facility, if you believe it. <laughs> but with this became a downfall in quality of life. And uh, I lied to my wife about what I did. I told her that I was scientist again. Not just cleaning up their mess. And uh, the money ran up, and the credit ran high, and uh, we did not come over with much from Russia. Enough to be comfortable, but not to have former lifestyle. And uh, we lied. My kids went to a nice school. My wife met a nice man, American banker, and she left me. She left me. This was mid-90s, mid-90s, and uh, things got tough. I turned to drink, 
and uh, my children no longer wanted to see me. American daddy could provide more. So, I lost my house, my car, my family, and uh, eventually, because of my drinking, I lost my job. I've been on the streets for a long time now. And there are, there are people that help. But most people, they ignore you. They will just walk straight past. You can look, we are in a busy street. And uh, you're the first person out of about 30 that I said hello to that even acknowledged me. You get the occasional person who would apologize for not giving change, and that's fine. Begging is, after all, illegal. But, uh... It is, you get people who are nasty, and I get spat on, uh, I tend not to stay in the same place for too long, just in case people come back. But you get spat on, you get, I have a friend killed, mugged, <laughs> who mugs a homeless man? He was a, uh, it was not a good friend, Spanish, or Mexican. Belly I spoke to him, but there was hope, you know, there was not alone. Uh, excuse me, sir, can you spare some? Thank you very much. See, when the other people talk to you, others find it hard to ignore. I have no pride to left. I'm set on a street. Asking for money. The drink was not the worst. There were drugs. And the things I would do. The things I would do to, to get these drugs. Uh, I used to be a good man. I used to be. Not so much anymore. I uh, was arrested by police. Assaulting a man for his wallet. He hadn't done anything wrong. He was just there. But I was desperate in withdrawal. And I went to prison for a while. <laughs> the, funny, the funny thing is, you get better treated in prison than you do free. Four walls, ceiling, three meals. Access to healthcare. It was, it was glorious, but I was only in there for two years, released early on good behavior, and released back onto the street. They put me in halfway house for a while, but uh, who has gone to hire ex-con, ex-Soviet? <laughs> yeah, so I turned to drug again. I have been clear for a while. I was taken in. About five years ago, to a place that help people like me, and it was nice. It was good. There was support. I made friends. They even tried to get me back in contact with my children, but they could not find them. I fear they may have taken the last name of an American banker. Yes, it was a, uh, it was a good time in my life. I, I made friends. I made progress. But it, uh, it was only there for several months. When they released me again, they tried setting me up with a job at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> but uh, I did not do well being bossed around by teenage management. And uh, a small assault and a warrant for my arrest later. And I have arrived here. I've been here for a long time. I go from different parts of the city. And uh, it is... You get to see a lot about humanity. 
when you're not actively taking part. The rich people don't care. If they see you in their nice streets, they will phone the police and get you removed. The people who have very little, they seem to be the ones who care the most. They are the most generous. They have... They have helped with what little they can. But there's the, uh, the hardest is the assumptions made about the homeless. There's the uh, fact that in this country there are more abandoned homes than homeless people. What kind of civilization lets that happen? But what can be done? <sighs> what can be done? Anyway, I have taken up a lot of your time. And uh, I truly appreciate having the chance to speak. It has been a long time. Too long. Anyway. Yes. Yes, I would like that very much. You take care too. Have a good Christmas. God bless.